morning children hope everyone is staying safe and healthy i hope you got your marks and i was very happy by going through your marks it was very good those who could not able to cope up better try next time children today we will be starting with the new lesson that is lesson number 5 and this is the last lesson for your half yearly portion that is your first term portion that is coal and petroleum before i start uh with the chapter children let me explain you term which is known as resources what do you understand by the term resources kya matlab kya hota hai resources ka zarurat what we required that is the meaning of resources so we required sunlight from sun we required water we required air all these things we required to survive on this planet so these are our resources and these resources because they are present in nature so it has been considered as natural resources now children we required for an hour days if we i talk about we required television also we required mobile phone also we required uh paints also to do the painting uh, of your house and there are so many things so these are the things which are also resources which are which is our requirement but as such it is not found in nature it is been made by man's effort so these resources are known as man man made resources so the resources which are found in nature they are known as natural resources and the resources which are made by man by its effort they are known as man made resources in this natural resources children we will include two more resources which is related to this chapter that is coal and petroleum that i'll tell you how we speak about coal and petroleum and why do we say they are natural resources first of all it's common because they are formed in nature that is why they are natural resources but before you go with coal and petroleum let us now understand that there are two types of natural resources in this chapter we will be studying about natural resources and under natural resources there are two types of resources that is exhaustible and inexhaustible so children natural resources in this chapter we will be studying about natural resources and again natural resources has been classified into two groups number 1 exhaustible and number 2 inexhaustible exhaustible category is petroleum forest wildlife coal minerals you can add more over here as natural gas also that also comes under exhaustible exhaustible means it is limited in quantity so once you are using it again you cannot bring it so they are limited so that is why it has been always said by government or by the rules that if it is a short distance prefer going walking or use bicycle or any other source of a uh, mode of transport which do not run by petrol by uh, diesel etc because they are limited from where we get that petrol diesel lpg or any other gas by these petroleum by the fractional distillation of petroleum and petroleum are formed by the dead decaying matter of marine animals and coal is formed from that formation i'll explain in the next part that formation of coal and formation of petroleum so in this chapter we will study about coal and petroleum so what i was telling that exhaustible means this coal and petroleum are limited when they form they take uh, formation take place millions of years it is under the earth or it is deep inside the sea sea for petroleum and for earth it's coal dead decaying matter of plants 
for coal and for animals it's petroleum so they are limited so that is why we have to very much we have to be alert when we are using these particular fuel and next we come with inexhaustible unlimited in quantity jitna chahe use karo jao subah dhoop lo pani piyo hawa khao jitna because they are unlimited so every day they are unlimited every day whatever amount you want to use you can use because it is unlimited in quantity and it cannot be uh, destroyed by human activity nature nature can be destroyed but these resources cannot if nature is destroyed definitely the resources will be also affected but when i use the word use use can be unlimited because they are inexhaustible i use a word over here fuel who can um, means uh, the person who can go through with the fuel they will understand what is the meaning of fuel if i say what is a fuel for me for human we say food food is the fuel and if i put a car if i put a motorcycle and i say what is a food for them you will say ma'am diesel you will say petrol that is the fuel fuel is the food for them and for us the fuel is food we, from where we are getting energy in that way the vehicles if i speak for truck scooter any vehicles their fuels are petroleum fuel or basically earlier in if i say era that is uh, in earlier days coal that is the engines the train engines which were running they were running through coal nowadays it was it is not it is through diesel or it is through electricity so earlier it was running through coal so again it was known as fuel so when i say the word fuel fuel is a substance which burnt to give heat so fuel is the substance which burn to give heat and then we i use the word fossil fuel fossil fuel is a fuel which is formed by the dead decaying matter of animals and plants and that fossil fuel is been used for forming petroleum and coal so when i say fossil fuel fuel the fossil fuel is a substance which is formed by dead decaying matter of animals and plants example coal and petroleum in the next class i will continue with the formation of coal and types of coal thank you children have a nice day any doubt you can ask me through campus care